Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. The Aces are bringing the party to the Strip today for a parade celebration after their WNBA championship. The team will make a short trip south down Las Vegas Boulevard from Caesars Palace to the Bellagio. Southbound lanes between Caesars Palace and the Bellagio will be closed to vehicle traffic between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. Fans can park at any of the surrounding resorts on the Strip with normal parking rates in place. Visit OVRJ.com for more. Las Vegas Review-Journal investigative reporter Jeff Gearman will be inducted into the Nevada Newspaper Hall of Fame this month. Gearman, who was killed outside of his Las Vegas home earlier this month, was known for exposing corruption in his investigative work. He covered topics such as city inspection failures before the 2019 Alpine Motel Apartments fire and extremist activity in Southern Nevada. Gearman's career in Las Vegas spanned four decades. And for Vegas locals, the sound of coins hitting metal trays brings nostalgia from the city's past. It's a sound only heard at one of the dwindling number of coin-operated machines still in use. I just remember the uh, old way it used to be in the 80s, listening to the noise and the bang, 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 and having to grab the cups. Nostalgia of the 80s. To experience this yourself, visit Circus Circus on the Strip, the California Hotel, and El Cortez downtown, and the Skyline Casino in Henderson. Who killed Tupac Shakur? Well, that's what 46-year-old retired police officer and podcast host David Kohlmeyer is trying to solve with a cash offer. He and another podcaster said they are offering $50,000 each for a total of $100,000 for any information that could lead to an arrest and conviction in Shakur's killing. Cole Meyer says he also wants to solve other Las Vegas area mysteries, including the recent spat of bodies found in Lake Mead and the recent serial killing of horses in Red Rock Canyon's National Conservation Area. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, with home builder confidence sliding, what does this mean for the future of the local housing market? Review Journal's Jen Ah has more from experts. That's right. The National Association of Home Builders' recent survey shows home builder confidence for single-family homes have dropped for nine consecutive months in the U.S. That's as home sales overall are slowing, both in southern Nevada and across the country, both in the resale market and particularly for new homes by home builders. And all this comes as higher mortgage rates have really put the brakes on the housing market. Uh, people who are looking to buy a house from a builder or on the resale market are facing higher borrowing costs, uh, highest that they've seen in uh, nearly 14 years. Those factors making it increasingly expensive to buy a home in Las Vegas. In turn, home builders are reportedly seeing less foot traffic and logging fewer sales, leading to less confidence in the market to sell their houses. Now it's time for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Winds picking up a bit today for your Tuesday. Sunny conditions are forecasted with wind gusts as high as 23 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear skies with breezy conditions throughout the night. Lows around 71 degrees. For the rest of the week, sunny conditions as winds begin to die down. Daytime highs will remain in the low 90s. Evening lows in the low 70s. Temps will begin to rise a bit heading into the weekend. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Coach Josh McDaniels did not have an update on the status of wide receiver Hunter Renfro during his Monday press conference. Renfro laid face down on the grass for an extended period as the Cardinals celebrated their walk-off victory Sunday when his fumble was returned for a touchdown in overtime. After the game, Renfro was unable to speak with reporters as he was being evaluated for a possible concussion. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Shriners Children's Open invites the women of Las Vegas to the annual Kick Off Your Heels Women's Day Luncheon on October 4th. From 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the Hill at TPC Summerlin, attendees are encouraged to wear their favorite pair of flats. To purchase tickets, visit the link on your screen. Sport, sponsored by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The Golden Knights' first training camp practice of the Bruce Cassidy era is this Thursday, and the team expects Captain Mark Stone to be on the ice. Stone had back surgery in May to fix an injury that caused him to miss 45 games last season. Goaltender Laurent Brassois, who is recovering from offseason hip surgery, is not expected to be on the ice with the team to start training camp. 
The Knights open the season on October 11th against the Kings. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Raiders are one-point road favorite Sunday over the Tennessee Titans at Caesar Sportsbook. The total is 45 and a half. After the Raiders fell 0-2 following their crushing 29-23 overtime loss to the Cardinals, their odds to win the AFC West soar to 14-1. The Raiders' adjusted season win total is 8 at Caesars, with the under a minus 120 favorite. On their exact number of wins prop, 7 is the 3-1 favorite, followed by 8 at plus 350, 9 at 4-1, and 6 at 5-1. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed, tune in to Bands in Town's Twitch for a special acoustic performance by Imagine Dragons this Friday, September 23rd. Those unable to attend the 8th Annual Rise Up Gala in person at Resorts World will be able to experience the performance live at 9.30 p.m. The event raises money for children with cancer diagnosis and virtual attendees will also have an opportunity to contribute. And when you're a Flair bartender, the whole world looks like something to toss. At least according to Flair bartenders at Mega Bar in Circa. At Mega Bar, the bar stretches 165 feet, making room for the flipping habit as bartenders perform tricks with barware and bottles to entertain customers. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. And if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.